How's it going, boys? It is I, Deadly Samuel, and welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails of Beginnings. Last time we got Agat and Tita in our party, and we faced off with the Deadly Hell mode, which is like the coolest name ever. I can't believe I didn't like draw attention to that last time. But now we're gonna keep on going. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got interrupted. I'm expecting another Reverie Corridor section pretty soon. Let's test out some of Tita's arts. I feel like all of her arts are like the same aside from the healing one. I mean Tita's basically just really really slow but pretty strong and she can tank hits like no one's business. So overall she's a good ass party member and also she has that- oh shit I'm blinded this shouldn't this would work. Wait it worked. Oh, okay. Oh I hate these enemies. They're the ones that did all that shit to me last time. Uh, but uh, yeah, she has that 60% healing art, which also heals 30 CP. That's insane. The fact that it heals 60% for everyone, including herself, in such a wide area. And you don't even have to, like, cast for it. It's just nuts. I want to hit both of these guys, but oh, that's annoying. These guys are going to get off that stupid confusion bullshit. Uh, I guess I can do this and maybe do an all-out attack. Oh, we can just miss everyone, okay. Didn't know you needed glasses a gut, honestly. Yeah, that's right, you're doing something. Ooh, weak to win. Sweet! Boop! God, this guy's got defense. Yeah, I'll just do this then. You wanna be cheeky about it? I'll just, uh, cast that. What is he doing? Oh, he healed. What is this? What is this? A little, I don't know. A little rude thing. Yeah, that's right. And you're still not dead, but this is it. Thank you. Dude, Waji is so strong in this game. Both his arts and his stuff. He was kind of more like Crow was in uh, Azur. Like, he kind of filled that role of being able to do both arts and crafts. <laughs> arts and crafts. But he was... He wasn't amazing at either, but he was really good at dodging stuff, I remember. So I had him as my, like, evasion tank for a lot of stuff. And... I think there was something else about him that I really liked, but I can't remember. Let's screw these guys. Hold on, are there any treasures back there? Can't be missing treasures, we probably won't get to come back here, either. Well, who knows, maybe we will. Hmm... Okay, that's a big boy. I'm not seeing many boxes. Can we get some more boxes in here? I need to restore my charge. I want to fight this guy just because he's a new enemy, but no, whatever. That's what I like to see. I got with the crit turn. Poogas. Yeah, that's like, that's, that is what I am talking about. Oh, this guy's got more defense than the other guy. And 100,000 HP. Not Pog Champ. Alright, I have some machine gun. Oh, no, that's rocket one. Like. He stunned him again. Yeah, you know what, Lloyd? You can do this. Oh, of course, I have to kill the one over there. Hmm. Well, he's stunned, so... I can focus on this guy for a bit. Oh my god, we are missing. We are missing, you guys. Oh, and he countered from there. Big old snapping turtle. He looks like the first boss from Yee's, uh, 7. I think I'm just gonna have to spam arts on this on this boy. Especially if he's gonna do that and paralyze me. Okie dokie, what orders do I have? Hmm. That seems pretty useful. Hmm. 
So this makes our arts uh, take far less time to cast. See, look at that. And also we get ants up for a bit. Can you not? Oh my god. It's a def uh, It's just a weaker version. I guess I can do this though. Nice. So even though he was paralyzed, he could still do that. Oh my days. Any of you weak to fire? No. Fine, we just have this. Same. I'm. When my charge builds up, I am going to. No, you can't. Oh, I don't want to give him the zero order turn. Okay, you can do this then. And now I'll renew this order, I think. You can hit two guys with this. Yeah, that's right. Okay, they don't have any way of healing stone. Or at least they shouldn't. Ooh, 9,000 damage. Hold on, what has she got? Nothing, okay. Oh, she's got no EP. What the hell happened to her? Well, I guess you're staying in here then. Wait, I can do this. Yeah, let's just finish this. Oh, they're not dead. That was supposed to kill them. Oh my god. Alright, I'll see you after this battle ends. You wanna know how many good... Goddamn turtles, he called after I began to cut that out. He called three more dudes, and then I got a fucking stone on him when he had like less than 10,000 HP left. Like, why couldn't that have happened earlier? Ooh. Deadly Heaven. That's his first S craft. Interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, Tita got absolutely knocked up during that fight. I don't know why. I won't bother healing her. I'm not going to use her for a little bit. She's actually super slow. I had no idea. I didn't realize how... Just how slow she really was. Like, she'd use an art and then she wouldn't get to act for like... Longer than most people don't get to act after they use like an s -crop. Oh, we're here. Oh, never mind, we're not there. Oh, they meant up here. Look, they got dudes there. Okay, he said, so they do have people guarding it. I want to just uh, charge them, but that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's search for another route. And conveniently enough, there is a door right here. And I see, is that an enemy over there? Oh, it's a stick bug. Actually, no, that's like a... I don't know what that thing is. A cricket? Hmm. Are you a big boy? No, you're just- Oh god, the way he runs at me is scary. Huh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh well, we've got a zero craft turn. Let's just, uh, mess him up. Deadly heaven. I could use that. Alright then. <laughs> yeah, 
get out of here. Oh, this isn't actually a screen nuke. Interesting. Oh, you... Uh, can I hit you from here? No. I can do this then. That'll work. Frosty Freeze here. Tear leveled up. <gasps> She's doing the okay sign. Uh, Tia, keep, uh, Tia keeps complaining because I haven't healed her. So I'll just do that. So she's out of red. Just so I don't have to deal with your whining after every damn battle. Honestly. Humma humma. Speaking of Tita though, am I the only one that thinks it's kind of weird how like they're pushing the Tio Agat they're trying to set sail the Tio Agat ship I don't know I thought they were cuter as like sibling relationship wait a sec what did we, what did we... oh I'm, I'm dumb this is my sense of direction again hold on yeah <laughs> they're trying to uh, set sail to the Tio Agat uh, the Tita Agat ship but I don't know man I think I think they were cuter when it was like he was guarding over her. And plus, I, d I don't know how old a guard is, but I think he's like mid 20s. What I'm saying is there's probably like a 10 year age gap. Which might not be too weird for anime standards, but I don't know. Yeah. They kind of like drew attention to it in this game, though. Because, like, I noticed it in Trails of Cold Steel 4, and I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. But then they actually, like, said early on in this game, that, like, they, yeah, they used to kind of be, like, siblings, but now they're, like, lovers. It's like, bruh. And, like, even the characters kind of reacted weird to it, I don't know. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies that I'm just ignoring, because I don't want to fight them. This is, uh, Trails of Beginnings pacifist route. This is how you fight the true final boss. I actually did hear that there is not a weird true ending thingy like there was in Trails of Cold Steel 4. Which is nice, so I don't think I have to worry. I don't think I have to worry about that at least. Looks like we managed to uh, get behind him. Uh, if we keep going, we'll be at the platform or the station of the military factory. Let's keep being careful not to uh, be caught. So I'm guessing they're back here. Yeah. So now we just got to keep going this way. You'd think they'd put guards or at least lock those doors. Oh, let me guess. This is where the route ends. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, oh my days. This feeling. Why is it on auto? Oh, I pressed R1 by accident. This mirror is reacting again. It's worrying me. And now I have to go to Reen's. Ugh, it's so annoying. I'm gonna... The thing is, I've already done like... I've been recording for like 17 minutes. I'm probably... I know I'm cutting out some of that stuff, but... It's probably still going to be about 10 minutes in the video, and... Ooh. Oh, we got Waji and Kia, and Tio, and I got... And Crow, Poggers! Where's my boy, Crow? I'll get Reen in the party, too, just because he is dummy fit. Oh, my days. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, I guess, when I charge this for a bit. Okie dokie, I just uh, charged my controller for, like... Five minutes. Oh yeah, I was doing my party, wasn't I? Yeah, let's keep you and you 
and you because you're the best and you because you're super strong and that's pretty good how many party members do we have now 16 in reserve so 21 Okie dokie, I don't know really what I'm going to do here, I just don't want to start Reens because I know it's going to be a long ass cutscene and I don't want to... I mean, I like titling these videos depending on the route we're doing. If we like start it for like 5 minutes and then switch to a different route because something happens, I don't really care, but when we've already been going this long, it would just be kind of annoying, I don't know. It bothers my OCD and also I'm doing this for like... The sake of people who want to like see a certain part of this game so it'll be easy for them to find. I mean I guess that's what the thumbnail's for probably but I don't know. Hmm. I'm also interested to see just hold on do I have any gacha? I don't. Uh well, there's Roselia there. So, has the new level of the Reveri Corridor opened up? Because if it has, then I will try and do that now, I guess. And if not, then I do have an idea of something I can do. <coughs> or something I can just show off. Yep, only the first level. Okay then, I think we'll go and do a mini game in that case. Just to waste some time before the video ends. Because I think it would be kind of just weird if that was just a random video in this series that was uh, 10 minutes compared to everything else being like 20. How's it going, Crow? Uh, I don't know what this place is, but yeah, it's a pretty... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but we've been called to a pretty strange place, huh? Well, it does seem good for training and getting better, so I think I'll make use of this. I look forward to working with you guys from the special support section. Yeah, us too. <laughs> so let us show off this. I won't be going through the cutscene because I've already watched it and you're not missing much, trust me. I'll just show you the mini game because it's kind of fun. Hell yeah. Wait, there's options? Alright, fuck it, uh... I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, which isn't hard at all. I just like this game, it's fun. Alright, I gotta remember the controls. Oh, I've already got C, okay. Ah! Oh, my battery's already running out. I only charged it for like two minutes, but yeah, this is what you do, you just, it's like Star Fox or something, they just shoot things at you, and you run around avoiding it. And there's actually a score system too, which, ah! Oh, I guess we haven't gotten access to our super yet. But the characters control, they, they shoot different kind of beams, there's like a barrel roll you can do with R1. But yeah, I think this would benefit from, like, an L-stick being able to control your radical kind of thing. We haven't gotten access to our special yet, but, oh, the fee thing, uh, the fee thing down there. She, like, makes us invincible for a short amount of time. So you can just sit in front of an enemy spamming attacks like this. I don't know how long, oh okay, it says, there's a thing in the bottom left which says how long it lasts for. A lot of people hate this song apparently. I like this version, I've heard the other ones though, that play during these uh, sections. And they do sound pretty bad. Oh here we go, here's the boss. Oh, I did have my special the whole time. I'm dumb. It's our trigger. So that's what Muses does. It just shoots hearts like over and over again. Oh, ow. That hurts. This isn't actually the chapter boss. These chapters go on for like a little while, actually. Ow. 
Yeah, let's switch back to Yuna. She does less damage, but more frequently. Uh, she shoots more frequently, I mean. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm not like directly in front of him, but my shots do kind of home in, so that is nice. That barrel roll has a lot of invincibility on it, so you can just kind of do that whenever things get too close. But yeah, the key to getting high scores is to spam this, because against enemies, they give you that meter thing. <coughs> I'll try and show it after this. Alright, I, I should be using this. Oh, I didn't activate it. I just got really lucky and avoided everything somehow. Oh, I'm not going to get to kill him with my special. Goodbye, Nosferatu. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I think you got like a cutscene after this in the original or in the normal one. Oh shit, I'm dumb. Uh, how do you do a charge shot? No, oh, fuck. Oh, I just wasted that so bad. Oh, this is bad. It's because I forgot the controls. I think Muse is better for taking out the guys like this with less HP because their attacks have more range. And you have to hit less of them too. Uh, hold on. Oh, it's circle button. Okay, you charge for a certain amount of time with circle. And that's how you do that. I remember now. Right, now I'm going to get the high score. You, got, you guys are going to watch. You can also use it on regular enemies too. But you can't charge and shoot at the same time. That's unfortunate. That would be a really nice thing if you could. Galaxia Hearts. This also destroys uh, enemy bullets. So you're pretty much completely invincible while doing this. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, honestly, there's not that much to this minigame. I, I described it as brain dead fun, and honestly, I think that fits very well. There's like damage numbers, but I don't know if there's a way to level up. I think that just makes it like easier for them, for you to like tell how much damage you're doing. All right, this is a good time for Thea. I think it's a good time to switch to Yuna. Ah! Even if I am invincible, it's still scary seeing that many shots coming at me. Oh, one of them despawned. I didn't get to kill him in time. I think now it's time. Yeah. <laughs> you get to fight Altina. And she's kind of hard. She's got some stuff. Ow. Yeah, she's a much smaller hitbox, too. So you have to kind of follow her around. And also she creates those barriers. Oh, I, I messed up. Oh, I was missing that whole time. Oh, here we go. Oh, she shoots multiple waves. Alright, switch to Muse. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. Alright. Let's just do this then. I'm not hitting her. There we go. This is only the first chapter. I haven't been able to unlock anything else yet. I guess I'm not far enough in the story. That being said, I think I'm like nearly halfway through the game. I've heard from someone who's beaten this game uh, that there are four main chapters and then the final one. Okay, yeah, when she gets to half HP, she starts spamming this attack where she keeps creating these guys that shoot you regularly. Oh my days. That one, yeah. Yeah, so it's good to kill some of these guys. It seems like she doesn't bother doing it uh, if she has one left still. Oh, okay, that's scary. And when this runs out, I'll use my special, and that'll probably kill her. Magical Galaxia Hearts! Oh, she's down here. Yeah, see how I'm just destroying the bullets? 
Oh, I thought that would do more damage to her. Ooh, golly, golly gosh. Yeah, I don't want to die. I don't know what happens if you die. I haven't died in this mode. It's kind of easy, after all. Ooh, look at this. Evasion. Alright, let's see what my score was. Oh, we can't hit those guys. My, oh, I beat my best score and I got an A rank. S rank is a bit higher though. Interesting. And you actually get gacha stuff for that too. Oh, uh, yeah, stop game. And now let's do the gacha. And then I think I'll end it off. I'm kind of glad I got to show that. At any rate, I don't know if I'll show all of the levels. Probably not, because it's just going to be the same stuff. And now we got some... This is like the lowest level gacha ticket thing. But you take it to the Kia contraption. And you get to choose how many of these you get to put in. Actually, I think I've already showed this. Let's see, I got a super rare VR goggle. Okay, that's an accessory. Interesting, interesting. Let's go uh, put that on someone. Wait a sec. Ooh, Azure Siegfried. Wait, what's this? What's the difference? I can't tell the difference. Am I blind? Am I missing something? I know there's some costumes. There's one for Reen and Claire where it just takes their shoes off. Uh, whatever. Have some VR got wait, what the hell? When did I get that? <laughs> oh my god. It's hideous, but I love it. Hold on, what are the other ones? Oh my god. He's a goth. I'm giving that to him. It's perfect. <laughs> Wait, how does Lecter look with this? <laughs> oh, that doesn't the color doesn't match. Yeah, the color doesn't match there either. Wait, what? Oh, that's just his glasses. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give them to Lloyd, because they look best on him. The color actually matches, so that's why. Hell yeah. Look at the fabulous Lloyd. Alright then. Uh, that's gonna do it for this time. Next time, though, we are going to mess around in Reen's story, Chapter 3. Which I think takes place in Nord Highlands, so look forward to that. But until then... I'm going to charge my controller a bit more, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.